So, you have a James Bond movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So James Bond is on a secret spy mission, right? Oh, yeah, he's always doing that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, he does that a ton. So much. So many times he's done that. Definitely. So he needs to catch this assassin bad guy, right? And he stole a list of all the undercover agents that MI6 has around the world. Oh, they just keep all those names on a single list then? Yeah, they just keep that all on one big list, where if you get one laptop, you get the whole thing. Well, well, interesting to learn about the spy world best practices, you know. And so James Bond ends up getting shot a couple of times by this bad guy on this train, and this other agent has to take this super difficult shot in order to kill the bad guy. Oh my god. So she takes the shot, but she hits Bond, and he falls off this massive bridge from a height where the fall alone would kill him. What? Then his unconscious body shoots down a waterfall. He's just sinking and bleeding from multiple bullet wounds. What is going on? So, you know, there's like no way he could have survived that. That, right? Yeah, I mean, for sure. But then again, I mean, you wouldn't kill James Bond off in the very first scene, so... You know, I'm super invested to see how he survived that. Yeah, for sure. So anyway, later James Bond is kind of just hanging out, chilling, you know, kind of retired. Wait, 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 how, how did he get out of the situation where he was unconscious and bleeding and underwater? Ah, well, we're gonna have this amazing opening title sequence, right, with music from Adele. Right, so... He figured something out while that was happening, I imagine. But what? how? Listen, sir, there is an Adele music video taking up the screen for several minutes, so we have no- we can't know what's going on behind there, you know? Wow, well... Okay, all right. So anyway, after about a year of just hanging out, MI6 blows up and Bond hears about it, and also that somebody's mad at M. Uh-oh, she's from the other movie. So he goes back to London like, hey, what's up? I'm back. Don't worry about how. And so what does he do to help? Well, he pulls some bullet fragments out of his body from where the bad guy shot him, and he has MI6 analyze them. Okay. And it turns out this is a super special kind of bullet that's only used by, like, three people around the world. Oh, wow. Well, thank God the professor professional assassin used bullets that can be specifically traced back to him. Yeah, maybe that's something a professional assassin would do. So Bond gets to this guy and he kills him. Oh man, so he doesn't have a lead anymore? Well, actually this guy had a super secret assassin poker chip on him, so that leads Bond to a casino. Jeez, that guy loved leaving breadcrumbs. Sure seems that way. So Bond goes to this casino along with that other agent, and during the mission he kind of plops his earpiece into her drink. Well, why would he do that in the middle of a mission? Cut off communication. Because how cool is is that? It's pretty cool. Anyway, so then Bond meets this woman who's like a prisoner, kind of, and she leads him to the bad guy of the movie, this guy named Silva. And how does that go? Well, see, Silva forces Bond at gunpoint to shoot a glass off of this lady's head. Oh. But he misses, so Silva shoots her right in the face. Oh my god, well there was nothing Bond could have done, you know, he had a gun pointed at him. That's right, exactly. So then Bond fights his way out of the situation and a bunch of helicopters show up. He couldn't have done that like a couple seconds earlier, so that woman wasn't shot in the face? Nope. Oh, okay. So they put Silva in a glass cage, which is what you do when you catch a villain halfway through the movie. That does seem to be standard procedure. Yeah, and just like any villain captured halfway through the movie, he wanted to be captured. It was part of his plan. Oh, he did? So what's his plan? Well, see, Q plugs Silva's computer into the MI6 computer mainframe, which hacks it and sets Silva free. The tech expert just connects a bad guy's computer into the secret spy computer network? He does, yeah. So that opens and Silva's cage up, and he takes out two guards and escapes through the tunnels. Okay. So Bond starts chasing Silva, but this guy has this whole thing planned out to a T. He has some of his men hand him a cop disguise in the subway. How? And after this super long chase, Bond catches up to Silva and starts shooting at him, but Silva's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, why would he stop? Oh, well, I just told you. Silva said, whoa, 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 whoa. I guess that's convincing. So then it turns out Silva had planned this whole thing too, and a big train crashes right through the tunnel right at that moment. What? And then and M is at this hearing thing, which was also part of Silva's plan, so he bursts in with a gun and he, well, he misses. He doesn't, he doesn't manage to hit her. Uh... Okay, what's wrong? What's up? I mean, that just sounds like a super convoluted plan based on things he couldn't possibly know or time. Don't know what you're talking about. Well, I mean, what if Q hadn't plugged in the laptop? Or what if he plugged it in like 45 minutes later? Well, yeah. If Q had to go to the bathroom, the plan wouldn't have worked. Yeah, but no, it was it was all planned. He knew that Q had already pooped that day or was going to poop later? He 
Yeah. And if at the end the plan was to just burst into M's hearing, why not just do that part? Like, why do all the other stuff? Why get captured? Ah, well, see, he wanted to know where M's hearing was. That's like, that's public information, though, I think. Listen, sir, the thing is, it's gonna be a very cool sequence, so I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about it. Oh, I didn't realize it was gonna be cool. Okay, let me get off of that thing. Okay, thanks. So now Bond has to bring M to safety, and he has to assume that all the MI6 channels are compromised. So what does he do? Well, he brings her to his childhood home in Scotland and has Q lure Silva there. So do Bond and M go with a bunch of people kind of off-grid with a bunch of guns, too? That's nah, just the two of them, and Bond says there are some old hunting rifles there they can use. So his plan to protect M is to bring just the two of them to an old, old house in Scotland and use a couple of hunting rifles and lure a supervillain over to them. That's what we're going with. Also turns out all the rifles were sold except for one. Wow, so what do they do? Well, sir, have you seen Home Alone? Yeah, so... That. They do Home Alone? They do Home Alone, sir. They set up a bunch of traps that are just as deadly as the ones Kevin McAllister set up. Oh, Kevin McAllister murder machines are tight. So then Silva sends a bunch of men into the house and the Home Alone traps work on them. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. And then Silva shows up in a helicopter and shoots the whole place up from the sky. Feels like he could have led with that. Maybe. So then M is gonna get shot so her and the groundskeeper escape through a secret tunnel that leads them out into a super dark field. Oh, nice. Very sneaky. Gonna be hard for Silva to find them now. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see, they're walking through the dark field with a flashlight so Silva's like, oh, that's, there they are. Okay. Oh. So then Bond manages to kill Silva, but M dies too. Very sad. And so that's about it. What do you think? Oh, it sounds like a pretty good time, you know? But people didn't really like the last movie, Quantum of Solace, and it didn't make a ton of money. Yeah. So I'm just kind of like... You know, are people really gonna come see another Daniel Craig James Bond movie? Well, maybe we could try spending like a hundred million on marketing. Oh yeah, that might work. Let's try that. Hi everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. Also, if you're into cars and vehicles and automobiles and other synonyms for car, be sure to check out our friends over at the Hot Cars channel. They've got you covered for all the latest auto news, informative reviews, and fun featurettes on the world of cars, pickup trucks, and motorcycles. Okay, bye now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you, uh, I'll see you around.